welcome back to Grassroots Racing uh, 2024 at the Craven Breeze Ups. Um, along with Rogues Gallery Racing, obviously, that I'm the founder member of. Um, we're going to be running through the, the order of breezes, sows, etc, etc. Um, shame the weathers are not, not a bit better, but um, hopefully you're going to get a lot out of this video. The first day of the Breeze Ups, really, well, what they do is on uh, the first day there's a pre-Breeze Ups uh, on the Sunday just to teach the horses to go up the gallops. Then on the, on the Monday, they have a, what they call the breeze ups and the horses are timed between a distance. Um, and you can examine the horses and check all the times to try and find uh, the, a horse that you like. The, some of these horses will make half a million, maybe more tonight uh, at the sales. So this is gonna be, this is the premier breeze up sales, to be honest, it's uh, something we, been waiting and waiting for so we're really looking forward to this as soon as the catalogue comes out which is about a month um, we, we break it down from there um, we started off with 180 horses and we're actually down to six for tonight so just looking forward to seeing what we can get and what we can't get yeah, this is Christian Williams um, somebody that we're going to be using in the future um, we've just bought a horse that will go to him in two weeks. Um, he's the manager at a, a very, very special stud. Um, I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, what I will say, he was the stud manager to Her Majesty the Queen, which is very impressive. Um, he's very knowledgeable. Um, so if you'd like to tell us a bit about your stud. What's it? I can never say it exactly. Ch uh, yeah, so we're from uh, Childerick Bury Stud, um, just, just north of St Albans. Um, and it's, um, it was the stud that... Um, Jim Joel sort of built up and founded. The winners of 16 individual classic races have been bred at the stud um, and you only have to go back to um, last year Van Dyck which came out of this sale um, he was actually pinhooked by the stud he was bought by us as a foal um, obviously sold and then came breezed here made 625 to Stroud Coleman and is you know champion unbeaten two-year-old threat who he also boarded with us Jim Crack winner uh, tin horse won the French guineas and these are all sort of recent horses it's a very special farm um, Mr. and Mrs. Flat are spending an awful lot of money sort of trying to improve the bloodlines um, and they'd like to breed a classic winner themselves and sort of you know we're back here at the Craven sort of having a look and, you know, looking to find a good one, hopefully. Um, I think, you know, unless you've been living under a rock, you'd be, you know, what, what Tony's been able to do is pretty impressive. And I actually just gave Tony a ring one evening and said, look, really like what you're doing, love to have a chat. And um, it's sort of gone from there, really. So Tony came down last week, week before, had a look around and... Fabulous place, yeah. absolutely fantastic. One of, one of the best agronomists sort of in the country, horse agronomist, he works for the Queen, he works for Prince Faisal. He's come in, he's analysed every paddock on the place. Um, calcium levels are through the roof. Um, you know, it's, it's really, really special ground. So we're confident we'll be able to start producing champions again from there um, for ourselves and with Tony. I'm bringing in as many people as I can, like Christian, um, and, and there's lots of other people being involved. We've had a complete change um, of trainers, buyers, uh, everything is changed. Hopefully for the better, we've stepped up a league, I think. Um, and for grassroots racing and the people that watch grassroots racing, it should be a very, very interesting journey. From, from you know, after selling two horses for over three million uh, and having that money on the hip now, we're looking forward to spending a few quid and trying to find the next one. Coming back to Grassroots Racing and Rose Gallery, um, like I said before, we've had a complete change of uh, training system this year. We've actually got seven new trainers. Um, Alice is one of our uh, new trainers. She's got four of our horses. Um, I think she's absolutely fantastic, to be fair. I'm really, really pleased that uh, we got in touch and, and made that contact. Um, Alice, if you'd like to just speak about, you, you know, uh, this is my fourth year at training, uh, based in, right at the bottom of Warren Hill. We've got the two-year-olds are in Cadlands, and we've got the older horses in Matchell Place, so it's great to keep them divided. 
we've had, you know, every year we stepped up. Last year we had 54 winners and we, and we keep on progressing. Um, it's the first year this year we've got 75 horses um, and it's great to have uh, Rogue's Gallery on board with us. Uh, they have four horses, they've got an older filly and we've got three two-year-olds, which obviously, you know, they're the hopes and dreams of, of right now. They could be anything and a nice bunch and really look forward to the season ahead. I've been sort of been here now in Newmarket for 14 years. Started off as an apprentice for David Simcock, pre-trained, and um, absolutely loving training. And we really do think Alice is capable. Um, we're really impressed. To be fair, with you know all the trainers that we've gone to, we've been very careful choosing. Um, it's been a process that's taken a month really to to get it right. Um, and I'm still moving horses around and making sure things are right. It's Alice horses is, for courses, isn't it? Yeah. Some Alice, horses suit certain people. Alice has actually got two stables in Newmarket. Like she said, one for the two-year-old, one for the older horses. Um, and I've got a horse in mind for Alice um, that I think suits Alice. And, that, and that's where we, you know, that's the sort of lines we're going along. Um, she can certainly get a winner, that's for sure. That's what we try, you know, we have a nice open relationship and you want a, a friendly relationship with your owners not every day is, is blooming, but you just want to share the, share the experience and all have success together. And Alice is very good at communicating videos every week, every few days, actually. Um, but it's I'm, fantastic letting yeah. you guys know, if you're not up on the gallops, of how they're progressing. I try and show if they're doing something different, whether they're going on the grass or they're working in bunches. It's great to share that with the owners of, of how they are training. Yeah, it was quite a shock today, the message she sent me today. Um, we've got a nice um, young horse and Alice has entered him for a nice race, sent it through and for a syndicate we've got like nearly 400 members and they, and they absolutely love that. The, the communications and the videos and all the rest of it, obviously we've got people from all around the world now um, and it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. So We'll keep trying, we'll keep doing that. Yeah, we'll keep working hard at it. We are here at Tattersall's and uh, we've watched all the horses breeze yesterday in treacherous conditions. It was sort of rain, hail, snow, well I don't think it was snow but it might as well have been. And then it was lovely sunshine which is obviously hard for the two year olds to take and they're all been clocked. So you have to bear that in mind and then for the last two, well day and a half we've been looking and inspecting them to see how they've breezed, how they've come out of it and physical specimens of them. So we are looking for size what we, what sort of owner we have of of what horse it would suit them whether it's a sprinter they're looking for or if they want to just an out and out two-year-old it doesn't matter how much sort of size that has or a horse going to be a three-year-old they want to be strong they have a good back end walk nicely obviously a sound we watch them trot to make sure they're sound and feel their legs that they're all ice cold tight um, that they've come out the, the breeze well we're looking also, you can see the, hear the colt shouting, you know, some of them are a little bit um, excited to be here. And that can play effects later on in the year when, when you produce them to the races. Sometimes it's just the day that's got to them that they've got excited. Uh, fillies, you look for that they're sort of straight, they're not swishing their tail and sassy. Yeah, there's also, obviously you've got about 160 horses here that we, we can look through. You can see um, on their page of what they were bought for as a yearling to think how much they'll be expecting to go for. Uh, my name is Dan O'Mara, I'm from Cork. Um, I work with Eddie Lennon, uh, Lack and Narrow Stables is the banner that we sell under. Um, we're here at the Craven Breeze up and we've got four nice horses to sell. We spend all year recruiting horses to come to these sales and then develop, developing them to, to bring to the market. So yeah, it is crucial for us and uh, it's what our business is all about. Like The catalogue is published probably a month ago or six weeks ago. Um, owners and agents and trainers go through the catalogue and they put together a list of horses that they might be interested in on paper. Um, they can then go and watch the horses gallop and breeze, look at them afterwards to analyse how, how they come out of it um, and then make a decision on what horses they want to buy. There's five or six breeze up sales. This year now we have horses in five of the sales so um, it's pretty busy time of year with horses at home as well that need to be kept on the go too so um, it takes a bit of managing but it's it's an important time of year and it's, it's what it's where we make our make our money you know it's an exciting place it's um, somewhere where you can have some great moments and some not so great moments so um, but when yeah when you go into that sales ring anything can happen and it's 
it's an exciting, exciting place to be for sure. Rogues Gallery Racing Open Day, the Syndicate. Um, over 150 people turned up in very bad weather. Incredible. The support for our Syndicate is it's growing by the day, literally by the day. We've sold most of the shares in anything we had to sell today. Rogues Gallery is the future of horse racing for me. We are completely unique in the way we do things. Um, it's just an absolute pleasure. We're not in it to, to make money for ourselves. The success, uh, everything that goes with horse racing. We're trying to prove a point that you don't need to give um, to these syndicates that are running businesses all your money and be involved with a business, not a real syndicate. So, and it's working extremely well. I mean, Warren Hill goes back a long, long time. We've got some Art Prescott next door. Um, you know, it's just a, the whole of Newmarket is racehorses. Um, we've done the breeze ups last week. Uh, we've done the Craven Breeze Up, we spent 200,000, all the shares sold immediately within six hours. Um, we bought two fillies for about 180,000, 190,000 at Doncaster Breeze Ups. Most of the shares are sold in them now. And we've got another two weeks now of more sales. And, but you know, you could go around and talk to the people here. We've got people here that have been in the syndicate right from the beginning. My brother was looking for a syndicate for us to join. And he rang me up one day and said he'd looked at Rogue's Gallery and we had a look at it and so we both joined it. It's tremendous value for money, yeah. The shares are cheap, you know, you're probably only taking 1% share in a horse. Um, every three months you get a payout of, if you've been successful at all, um, you get 90% of the sale prices distributed back to the shareholders and it's value for money. For instance, in what, three seasons, I've probably spent £25,000 and I've had more than 20000 back. So, you know, if you want cheap race, join the Rogues Gallery. We've got nine trainers in all now. Um, I'm, I've spread around the country. Uh, it's, it's incredible seeing the different styles of training and how the horses are looked after. I didn't think there was much of a difference, but it's been a real eye-opener. The last month of, uh, after we've moved all our horses around, it's been a real eye-opener. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased, actually. It's, although we was pushed, I, I feel it's, it's best for everybody involved. Uh, and Rose Gallery Racing, we're going places. Last year, we, you know, two horses that we paid 80,000 for, 85,000, we sold for over 3 million. Um, and it's, people want to be involved with that, you know, and it's because we're so transparent and open, everybody gets their money, their sh everything's shared equally. It's, it's everybody's dream, really, to be involved with a syndicate like this, where you can get involved with a 200,000 pound horse for a thousand pounds and have a genuine ownership of that, a 200,000 pound horse. I know 200,000 pound doesn't make the horse successful, but it certainly cuts a lot of the, the odds and the, and the corners. Um, I'm absolutely over the moon the way it's going. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you walk around this room today, and like I say, you know, it's, we have got people from all walks of life. That's what I like. And you walk around here, and everybody says to me, what a lovely bunch of people. Everybody's me. You know, you get the odd pe person that comes into the syndicate. If they're that, that person they don't fit, we just give them their money back and ask them politely, you know, you're not really getting what we're trying to do. We're not like all these other syndicates. We're, you know, we've got a target of being very successful for, a, for the, a minimal amount of money as possible. We have got nearly 40 horses now. We've got a breeding program. You know, we're, we're looking, we've got more sales in, over the next two weeks, Ireland, France, and we let a lot of the syndicate members get involved with that as well, which not everybody's into the racing. A lot of the time they're into everything else that we're doing, bowls and etc. etc. So, no, I couldn't be happy. I really couldn't be happy. It's working extremely well and I'm, I'm over the moon with what's going on. It's fantastic.